Hello and welcome to another Electronic Revolution broadcast. Tonight we have Sibo A lower bracket playoffs continuing on MP backlot as uh, we have uh, Main Gear going up the form uh, up against a formerly uh, named Nexus team. And we had some problems earlier because Sibo's side is down, so CMM is down, but both teams agreed to play without CMN. But they're going to have a Sivo admin spectate. So right now, I'll toss it to my co-caster tonight, Starbuck, for the roster run. Down. Hey, Water. Yeah, it seems to be a, a good match here coming up. Uh, we've got uh, the former Nexus um, against Main Gear. So a great match up here on MP underscore backline. Uh, for the roster rundown, uh, I'm going to go over here real quick. Uh, for Nexus, we have TM, Taylor, Bretsky, 47 and NRVN. Uh, starting on defense, uh, we'll see uh, that after the knife round is going to be main gear uh, on their roster tonight. We're going to see uh, Deviator Saw, Mech Load, Lavish, and Slut. So I'll toss it back over to you, Water. Alright guys, uh, our site is down right now, so if you want to watch the cast at it, we are spamming the direct link in our IRC channel, so if you know anyone who wants to watch and they can't get to it, uh, our, our IRC channel, or if you already have the link from past cast, uh, that should be good to go. So we're just waiting for Taylor to ready up and we can get things underway. Uh, so Starbuck, uh, we've done this map before, but for those who aren't, uh, who haven't been playing uh, this game for five minutes, how does MP Blacklock go down? Yeah, like you said, uh, this is probably one of the more popular maps maps uh, behind Strike and Crash, but uh, for those of you who are new to the game, haven't played this a lot, um, it's a very defensive side of the map. Uh, we're going to see a lot of nades uh, being tossed over the mid buildings uh, into each other's spawn. Uh, specifically, if you're on defense, you want to throw those nades into the offensive spawn area by the burning tank to stop the rush. Um, it's very crucial. If you can get a kill right there, then you already got um, the ups on defense. And on defense, you should expect to see uh, about eight or nine rounds being one compared to an offense the average is about of course uh, three to four rounds so um, should be a great match you know both these teams uh, they've been playing together with each other for a long time especially Nexus I mean um, their roster hasn't changed all that much uh, most of these guys know each other from from COD 2 and way back when so um, I think it's going to come down to just uh, who gets the side choice here once the knife is going to be going down and it looks like actually main gear he's going to get the side choice so um, you know, if, if, they, if they go defense and they have the right nades, it could, uh, it could go either way. I mean, I'm just waiting on Taylor in a 1v2 on this knife, see if he, uh, can win it some side choice for his team for Nexus. And guys, if I'm not in IRC, but I know Kevin's on IRC, I'm not sure if he's opt or not, so you can go ahead and find him. He should be labeled Erev Starbuck, if yep, I'm not sure mistaken, am. and he will take your shoutouts. Alright, and it looks like... Like, uh, Mingir's gonna stick on defense, the easier side, as we just ready up here. So again, gonna look for those early nade spams from both sides to, uh, get the pace of the round going. And again, one more time, for shoutouts, IRC, Starbuck, he's not off, but he should be there. Here at Starbuck. Yeah, just waiting, um, for three players are ready up here. To an Actually, and of course, Adi is going to be specking. Go ahead. We have a request from the main gear team. One of their players tonight, uh, Vaughn, could play uh, Saws, take his place because uh, uh, I believe over the past few days he had a stroke. So right now he's in intensive care in the ICU. So uh, go ahead and uh, send your prayers out to him. Uh, prayers from the EREV crew go out to him as well. As this first round gets underway, main gear saw opening things up with a nade on NRV. As uh, the man going in bottom A, gets a kill on McCloud, aka Simple, and uh, Saw responds back with a kill on the man. Bretsky goes down to Slut, so it's a two on four. Maglio and Taylor left up as Saw's in the A site, walling Taylor with the Deagle. So it's a one on four, all up to 47. Trying to get the kill, pulls out his Deagle, running, trying to run down this player near the MG house, and gets tagged by Slut. So first round goes to Main Gear. Yeah, very impressive round there by Main Gear. Um, if you were
were to ask ten people about who are, who's going to win this match tonight, I bet you that eight or nine of them is going to say hey, um, that Nexus would win because these guys are just so well known. But right now, Mangir is just you know flying off the start here with that awesome round. So I'm going to go watch them as they are going to get naded by a TM back of A. Slut and Maglia are going to get kills here, and Mangir and Maglia once again. So lots of kills going down here right now. The two on three situation in favor for um, Nexus looks like now a two on one with the last player up on main gear is going to be Slut as the bomb does go down Explosion at the A bomb site, courtesy of Bretsky. So right now we have Slut only one up. He's going to be in top mid. We've got Bretsky top A and Maglio top uh, B. House. So they're very well stacked. Maglio doesn't see him, which of course 47 doesn't see him in mid. Gets some nice shots there into Slut. Slut had the perfect opportunity there to make it a one on one, but he could not pull it off. So right now score is going to be one to one very early in this game. And our uh, water. I like to see back and forth, but again, a defensive side of the map, so uh, the worst case scenario, Mangir wants to come off 7-5, uh, uh, better scenario, the 8-4, as Saw and Lavish both get two nade kills on the man and NRV. So uh, Mangir pushing through the street, Magula B Street gets Deviator, Bretsky getting simple, so it's a two on three, very doable for Nexus if they play their cards right, as Bretsky's held up at the L turn with an AK-47 trying to battle someone top A, but Slut comes up from the side, walls him, gets a headshot, so 1v3, it's all up to 47, 47 in the mid of the map with a 74U, he has a minute, a little over a minute left on this clock, so he has lots of time to work with if he can just get a, a pick or two. As he works his way to the middle, he's spotted, and Saw picks up the kill on 47. Score 1-2 in favor of Mangir. All right, and let's go to Mangir's war room right now and see what they're talking about as they are going to take the lead 2-1. to one. Hit one. Got one, fucking cafe. Top A already. Down outside bottom here. I'll turn. Oh, dude. He's in basement. Oh, another bricks, bricks, bricks. Oh. Bricks, bricks. Basement and brick. He's coming up the stairs. Good job, Dev. He's on the ball on site. Top. Stay out of the site, dude. He's, He's coming down the fucking stairs. Down. Nice. Jesus Christ. Started off really good. Um, Nexus started to come back in that round, and then finally they, they did finish it off. They're very impressive here uh, on defense. So I'm just going to go look at um, Nexus and see what they're doing on offense. Uh, looks like they're running a 1 4 split. Actually, a, a 1 2 2. Two are going to go A, two are going to hold back and spawn, and one is going to go B here. Um, see what they do. ND L turn. Uh, Bretsky and TM are going to push up. TM is already at the A door. Saw is right above him with the 47. Doesn't peek though because he's getting shot from the middle house, which is going to be, I believe, Maglio is in there. And there goes um, NRV into slot, making it a 4 on 4, as we already have another player dropping before that. TM right now is going to be in the bottom A house as Deviator takes out Maglio. I'm following TM, and TM takes out Saw top A. A may be clear now for the plant. The bomb is actually in A. There's Bretsky faking it once. And he sees someone, spots him, doesn't get the shot though, McLeod into Bretsky. TM is still above him, waiting for him to pop out. And he does not peek. TM is playing very conservatively up top A because he knows he's got two enemies right below him. And a sniper in B who tags TM through the wall. This is going to be a two on three right now in favor for main gear as we have NRV and TM, the last two members up for uh, Nexus. And there goes Deviator into TM. Last person up is NRV. He's right below the B house, but the bomb is all the way back A. Uh, the scope is top B, though. So if, if NRV can take out the scope, he'd make it a one on two. 20 seconds left on the clock, and it's not going to happen. It wouldn't have happened anyway. Not to, uh, not enough time for him to do anything there, Water. And right now, it looks like Mangir is just flying away with this. Yeah, they definitely have the momentum in their favor, and that's going to be big, especially on uh, the more favorable side, as they toss some nades over. Simple, trying to get over into that A site, but let's go ahead and focus on Nexus, as uh, Deviator doing the same thing he did last round, pushing up, smoking uh, the B Street as he pushes to MG House with his 74. You spots 47, gets the kill. It's going to be a repeat. He plays the mid area and he plays it well. So we already have two players down for Nexus. NRV, three players actually. The man, NRV, M47. One player down for Main Gear, and that's simple. So it's a two on four. 
Taylor and Bretzky left to do it up as uh, Bretzky's on the bomb. He ha He's on the A-bomb site. He has the bomb as well. As he's peeking around, he spots a player, but he he's blind. He just can't see him, a player right in front of him. And that's going to be uh, a big a big hit for him. But uh, it was Saw he spotted, or actually it was Slut. As Slut gets taken down by Bretzky, so it's now a 1v3 and now a 1v0 as Saw picks up the kill. Score 1-5. to Alright, let's take it over into the Nexus War Room and see what they can change here to bring this game back in their favor. I don't know, I can't even hear Taylor talk, so whatever. Kills me through smoke, I guess. Found a man. I got flashback of it. Jump on dumpster, dude! I got him, I got him. Found a man. Dude, he pushed up around Still the B man. site. He's in mid building now. In bricks, in bricks. Does it a lot. We figured it out, right? Fucking cut! Where the hell did that guy go? Things are mad. So stupid. I shot him. Alright, back to live action now, as not even the great 47 can clutch that one on one on four. Nice try there, but it looks like uh, Nexus is just not getting in the game. I mean, Water, it looks like, honestly, they just installed the game last week, and Main Gear is just running all over them. You know, they went into this match, they're not playing with CMN, a lot of teams wouldn't do that, so I'm not sure if it's a question of them not caring anymore, or uh, just a simple fact of Main Gear out playing them. There's no, no question Main Gear is do playing extremely well right now, but uh, is Nexus just, uh, do they just not have the spirit or any will to go on, but uh, this round right now is going in Nexus's favor as it is a 2 on 4, make that a 1 on 4, as simple as the last player left, um, but again, Starbuck, do you think it's it's that way, or do you think it's just that Nexus not able to perform? Honestly, yeah, I've been watching uh, Nexus uh, play, and it seems like they have a pretty good strategy down, um, they're definitely not just uh, pugging this, they're definitely having a strat and running the strat. I think it's just they're not getting the shots. Um, Main gear is getting the early nade kills onto them as they're trying to go A, um, and they're actually getting into A. That's the thing, and they're getting into A except that round as NRB goes down with that early nade from McLeod, and you know it's just not working for them. Whatever they're doing, we've got TM uh, right now, TM and Bretsky right next to each other, and that's not going to work because McLeod is top A and he gets TM. Bretsky's right below him. Uh, Got to throw a nade. Or actually, smoke, excuse me, uh, that missed the top area of A. It's a 3-on-3 three three right now. McLeod is still on the stairs. Bretsky is right below him. He's going to creep up the stairs any moment now. And there he is. Bretsky gets the shot on McLeod. Excellent shot. There's something for you into McLeod by Bretsky, making it a 3-on-2 three in favor for Nexus. Taylor is going to be top mid. And Taylor gets shot by Slot Taylor, not hearing him right below him, walking around. Crucial mistake there by Taylor. Taylor, as this makes it a 2-on-2, two two, Bretsky is still A with the bomb, and his teammate 47 is at B with a 47 as well. Um, let's see what happens here. Bretsky takes out Slut, 1-on-2 now. Lavish with the scope, last player up for main gear. Bretsky is taking this package to B, as um, 47 is right there waiting for him, so he's got some good covering fire, but Lavish is looking at the cross here. He is actually looking at the uh, B cross, so good spot there for his scope. Um... Bob is going down now by Bretsky, and 47 is right there by the wall. Lavish goes, and there's 47. Good cover by him onto his teammate, uh, Bretsky, as he planted the bomb. So right now, maybe showing some life here um, from Nexus Water. Yeah, they seem to be picking up a little more momentum on the B side of the map. They've gotten two rounds in a row, so uh, I wouldn't count them out yet. This may come back to be a very close game. As we have nades flying, some offensive nades from the Nexus team, not tagging anything as the man's is flashed out. There's Simple also flashed as we have two Nexus players pushing the A site and there we go. Four main gear players down within the first 40 seconds of this round as Lavish is the last player left and he is the scope 
for uh, Main Gear as he tosses a nade onto the A site, gets picked up by NRV, score four, six, three rounds in a row for Nexus. Maybe they just needed a little more time to adjust, but now they are playing extraordinarily well. Maybe they did, but that round right there, I mean, Main Gear just gave it to Nexus as the main gear players actually team flashed themselves in bottom A. They were totally flashed out, um, team flash that is, and just uh, Nexus came all over. I and mean, there's the nade from Saw Pineapple into the L turn. Finally, some life here from main gear after these three rounds in a row. It's going to be a three on three as two players are going to go down in the L turn by that nade, and the bomb is down as well. We've got Saw still in A. We've got Lavish top B, and his teammate Mechlode is going to be top A as well. So they've got A and B pretty much fortified as the sniper goes down. Taylor spots the sniper in B, and B is now wide open for attack from Nexus as Mechlode gets Taylor. So middle of the map and B are now wide open for both teams. But NRV sees these opportunity to get the bomb, and he's actually taking the bomb to A. Where McLeod is just rotating to B, as I said, B was down, so right now Main Gear thinks they're going to take the bomb to B, but they're not, as NRB is top A, and his teammate Maglio, 47, is at B, he's going to take some shots there from McLeod, and McLeod versus Maglio, Maglio gets out of there as quickly as he can, as the bomb is going to be planted bottom A, McLeod, here's the plan, here's Maglio, gets the shot off, doesn't kill him, one more shot would have killed him, Maglio and his teammate NRB are now in bottom A, as McLeod thinks there's one top mid, there isn't, and he turns around, NRV into McLeod. McLeod thought there was one top mid, but they were both at A-Water. Um, you know, that's, it's just, uh, what a turnaround. I, I just can't say a few rounds ago, this is a one-sided match. It was 5-1, now it's, uh, 6-5. So, Mangir definitely needs this last round to do, to get something going for their offensive run. As uh, Saw spots some players, L turn. They're going L turn. Oh no, NRV top A already. Get Saw, Deviator getting 47. And uh, there we go, Main Gear picking up three kills already. So NRV, Bretsky, last players left as NRV goes down to simple. Bretsky, last player left, 1v4. Spots someone on mid. That's Slut. And he's just playing around the L turn. He does have the bomb, so that's not a worry. He has a minute on the clock. Spots another player trying to pick up the kill, but McCloud, or. McLeod puts him down, AK simple. Good half, score 5 7 in favor of Main Gear. Yeah, Main Gear, you know, they were up 5 to 1, and all of a sudden something didn't click, something skipped, or something maybe clicked in Nexus. Not sure exactly what happened, but um, they needed that last round. Uh, you don't want to go 6 6 on this map. You don't even want to go 7 5, but it's something they can work with on offense. Uh, some teams' offenses are, are better than their defense, so. We're just going to have to see right here, and I'm going to go follow Main Gear uh, off the start. I'm going to tell you guys where they're going, how they're setting up here, as they are going to have one sniper. It's going to be lavish, and he's just going to be picking from spawn, it looks like, on top of the wall. And it's going to be a 1-1-3 one, one, split, 3A, 1 mid, 1B. Uh, lavish is going to be sticking at spawn with his teammate, uh, so he's just going to be picking here in the mid. And this gives Nexus plenty of time to get set up at A, and there's Bretsky into Saw, but we've got one main, uh, main gear player top A, and it's going to be Meg Lode. Meg Lode has way, uh, made his way onto the stairs. Bretsky, though, shoots him in the face. NRV into Deviator, so good defense here by Nexus. Uh, they know exactly where they're going. Uh, it looked to me like uh, main gear did not go into A fast enough. And uh, right now it's a one on four, and that's it. Zero on four. Bretsky takes down Lavish. Uh, you know what, Water? It just looked like they're too slow going in A, and... With that scope there, it, it really doesn't help you uh, if you're trying to assault the A-bomb site. Um, what, I what is your opinion on uh, the sniper for this map? In my opinion, you know, if you don't have someone who can always make the shots, you should just go ahead and run, yeah. run an assault or another spec. Right, option. I mean, quickly, my opinion is if your name isn't Prank or Rob Wiz, you shouldn't scope on this map. Alright, well there you have it. Game back to the action. Looks like we have two players down for Nexus. Uh, make that three players as uh, 47 and Taylor are the last players left as Deviator picks up the kill on Taylor. So uh, Simple with the bomb at the A site. He's bottom A, uh, moving mid as uh, he, I guess they've knew no 47's at the A site. 47 basement A, peeking out, hoping to pick up a pick, but he's been tagged up. He's bleeding red, blinking. And the bomb is going to the B side. Uh, simple putting it down right now. Uh, nice wide in the open. And Deviator finally picks up the kill. So let's score 8 6 as Main Gear picks up their first offensive round. All right, and right now we want to go into the war room of Nexus and see how they're going to come back here. Uh, it's 8 6. I watched Type A. All right, that's one quick. That should be even. Whoa! It's gonna be one B side, so. 
Going in L turn. He's up in that fucking. He's going up third. Dude. He jumped down, I think. Yo, going in mid right now. He's in mid. In the, in the mid building or in, in like by red? Yeah, he's in. Yeah, mid mid. Like garage, I guess. Yeah. Yo, third floor. Not third there. floor. B dumpster. B dumpster, dude. What a mid building still. Top A and dumpster tagged. He went in the garage building. He went in the garage. By burning tank. Off the plant, dude. Fire. They don't know you're there. Oh, Alright. Bombs down wood. He's by L. That was horrible. Gun bomb place. <laughs> nice. That was shot. the greatest Another thing I've ever is, seen. Is, is, so, um, <laughs> what do you think um, Main Gear has to do here, Water, to win this match? I mean, right now they are up by one point, but they're on attack, which is um, extremely difficult here to get about the five rounds they need here to win the match. Um. Well, they've been getting uh, one or two early nades, and in my opinion, you need to you need to just shut out the teams from A. If you're gonna go A, you need to get those deeper nades, and they're just not throwing their nades deep enough. Uh, right now, they're all over the A site. Uh, they got top A, but Bretsky's there, gets a double kill on Saw and Simple, and Lavish picks up the kill. But uh, like you like you said earlier, they're sicking a lot of players back. They really like to have players all over this mid-house. Uh, Slut and Lavish uh, both stick to the mid-house, and I'm not sure it's working out too well for them. But back to the action, 2v2. We have NRV and 47 going up against Deviator and Lavish. And I have to say that last round, NRV with the most ridiculous wall shot with the end of his 74U clip. Um, I'm sure that's going to be a clip on the forums after this match goes down. But the round goes to Nexus. This is tied up, 8-8. Eight, eight. And uh, I'm, I'm against Starbuck. I'm, I'm not too sure. This is, this is definitely not my strong map, so uh, we'll have to see. Definitely, and right now I'm going to go follow the defensive side as they are going to stack at a 2-2-1 two -two uh, split here uh, for the Nexus side. And, uh, 1B, 2 mid, and 2A, and the 2A guys are going to be 47. And Bretsky, and there's 47, and there's Taylor, and they're both going to bite the dust along with NRV Mangier, now making a big, big, big push into the mid of the, uh, the, mid of the map. That's exactly what they need to do here, as A was just too heavily defended. Um, by Nexus to do anything, and here goes TM down, last player up now for Nexus is going to be Bretsky, and that's it, Main Gear making a decisive push into B, showing all their colors here with that move, and it paid out, they're up by one round, 9-8 uh, to eight right now um, for the Main Gear team. Well, let's go ahead and take that, and we will go to Main Gear's uh, war room, see if they can pick up and continue this pace. Oh, for the love of Christ. I'm flashed in now. He's on the glitch. Dev's TA. Dev's timed out. He, he came up mid. Oh, he's A Street. He's pushing up to APC. Nice shot. You saw him yeah, APC though. Another one, another one APC. Bottom mid. Crap. Was that back, dude? Well, yeah, yeah he's back. Have it. Score tied up again, 9-9, nine, nine, as uh, Nexus just answered back there, pushing, uh, I believe they just put an end to uh, the players in mid for main gear. They had a bit of a B push going on from my perspective, and that just got shut down. And there we go, Saw trying for the A rush, gets naded, but main gear picks up two nade kills this round, one by Slot, one by Deviator, but... Magdal 47 making it an even game again. 
picking up a kill there as he plays the bricks outside of A. So we have two main gear players working the mid, working the B side. That's going to be Lavish and that's going to be Deviator. As Deviator picks up the kill on 47, Slut's also up there mid. He's been playing that uh, back with mid window almost every round as Lavish. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. He doesn't have the bomb. The bomb is down. Gets picked off from Laundry by NRV as he tries to go up the flank of the B apartments. Be trying to pick up a kill on someone still up there. So it's a two on two. Bretsky and NRV up against Slut and Deviator. Uh, so, Starbuck, what needs to go down here for a main gear round win? They need to, first of all, get the bomb, which it's at A right now. And then there it is, right there. I didn't even have to say it. Slut gets Bretsky. The bomb's at A. The, the guy at A is down. So, right now, Slut needs to just run at the bomb and plant that thing because they know that NRV was by B, but he's already in A. He already pre rotated before his player was down, and there is Deviator. Excellent job there by Main Gear. Um, they just took all the factors into consideration and they executed perfectly as uh, props are to NRV. He actually pre-rotated before his player was down, anticipating that Bretsky was going to get shot there. So uh, good job to both teams, but Main Gear right there just came out on top. And I'm going to keep following them on offense. Uh, it's been very surprising what they do. Um, and there it is, NRV into Saw. The A push it just isn't working. Uh, but there's, Mc there's McLow just plowing through A. Bretsky, Maglio down. So A right now is wide open for the Main Gear guys. If they just want to get in there, um, TM is put rotating from mid. TM gets slumped there as he tried to rotate from the mid bomb site 74 u in hand smoke is down everywhere um hard to see in the bomb site right now it is going to be a three on three here plenty of time left on the bomb uh, on the clock and the bomb is actually by a by the ladder here uh main gear now slowing it down considerably as it is a three on three they want to just get some picks here before they plant and there's deviator into taylor taylor jumped out of b house expecting to get the drop on him but it backlashed as deviator was ready for that jump making it a two on three right now only two players up for Nexus, it is going to be NRV and TM. Um, TM not doing too well this match, 8 and 17, but NRV is a shining star at 17 and 13, so let's see what they can do here. Um, NR or McLeod spots TM, and now it's a 1 on 3. NRV is at B, and the bomb is also at B, so that's a really good spot for him right there. Um, the bomb is going to go down. He's just going to peek around, see where the enemies are, but he knows the bomb is at B. He sees them, but there's a good shot there from uh, a player. <laughs> not exactly sure who it is. It's Deviator there. And there is the round. Oh, uh, we are some uh, cheating accusations going down, but, but the score is 11-9 in favor of main gear. Uh, McLeod, that last round, taking advantage of uh, the fact that there are no nades going on the outside of the portion of L-turn, just ran straight through the bricks and right into the entrance of A. And uh, Saw did that the same did the same thing this round, but he's going uh, going top A this round after flashing and nading. Bottom A uh, gets a flash top A. So uh, there we go. Simple doing the same thing. Gets the kill on uh, 47 as he tries to get into this bomb site. And this A bomb site is uh, all main gears. As two more players go down from Nexus, it's all up to NRV and Taylor. NRV picking up the kill on Deviator. So let's go ahead and follow Taylor. Taylor spamming. Gets the kill on Slut. Follows that. Oh, he almost had the kill there on a player bottom. Bottom A, so it's a two on three. NRV and Taylor again, the last two players for Nexus up against Simple Song Lavish. As NRV is peeking around the front A site, a little bit laggy from my perspective. And Taylor spamming up, trying to trying to get any player he can, trying to draw someone out. As NRV going from the basement, going top A right now, but no one's there. Mangers just sitting cool outside the A site. They have everything covered as simple from uh, from the front of the A site gets NRV. Taylor picks up the kill on Saw and not enough time on the clock and simple picks up the final kill. Score 12-9 and there you have it. Main gear one round away from winning it. They're in that 12 spot. Nexus needs three to tie it up. Exactly. I mean if, if you're a main gear right now you can pretty much um, do a full A push. That doesn't work. Do a full B push. That doesn't work. Do a split. You have many options. And there's a, here's the full A push right there from them. They've got three or four guys right now in A. But there's the uh, counter attack uh, by Nexus. Uh, Maglio and TM are already outside. Maglio gets two shots there. It's McLeod into Saw. Lavish right back into Bretsky. Maglio into Lavish and slant into TM right now. Making a three on two situation in favor for the Nexus team. They are out. And then about, let's see where Main Gear is. Uh, Main Gear uh, now a one on three. One player up. It's going to be Deviator. A one on two. Could this be the clutch they're waiting for? Bomb is at A, but he's got plenty of time left. Uh, we've got NRV and 47 versus Deviator. And Deviator knows where 47 is at least. And NRV is right behind him, so he could get the, um, the double kill here, excuse me. It is possible if he does the right peek at the right time, he's going to flank around. Uh, Maglio is totally perplexed here. He does not know where he is. Maglio is going to come up on him, and Maglio gets shot, making it a one-on-one -on -one situation. You know, NRV versus Deviator. This is the battle. Deviator has the bomb. 
versus NRV. NRV is outside the bombsite. Deviator is in the bombsite. Going top eight. No, he jumped down. NRV knows exactly where he is because he can hear him. Got those good headsets on. Deviator, though, coming back out around. He's going to go flank around NRV. This could be it right here. NRV needs to turn around. Needs to see him right now. If he doesn't, he is dead. And oh, oh he's going to go for the knife. And that's it. Deviator into NRV. The match is over, Water. Oh, there you had it. Uh, Maglio, 47, was one away from uh, the ace that round, so I'm not sure if that played a factor into his style in that 1v2, but congrats to Main Gear. They move on in the lower bracket, but uh, good game overall. I thought it would be a lot closer than that, seeing as uh, Nexus made that uh, big comeback, those, that three-round comeback when they're on offense. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, toss this over to Shoutout, Starbuck. All right, I've got a few shoutouts. Um... First one here is from M History. Uh, shout out to Starbuck for being a good caster. Thank you. Next one is from Mike. Um, shout out to you, Water. Um, he says, "I want to feel you from the inside." So, what do you have to say about that? Mike's Mike's pretty gay. I don't think I need. To all right. Into any deep well, it's usually like a you know two-sided thing. But all right. Next shout out here we have. Um, let's see. It's going to be Pop a Party. Um, Oh, okay, shout out from Connor's team. Connor, you're the best. Don't leave us for the rest. COD5 might be all the shit, so stick with us and maybe next land you can pack it by your beloved T Sovereign. So I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but you know what? I, I just read what's on the screen and I don't have to think about it, so that's perfect for me. Um, also, I have a shout out here from Bretsky. Um, he says uh, that Nexus wants to give a shout out to Juvie um, because uh, he's their favorite player, obviously. And he says, "How do you lose to Mob online?" So, just I guess you know that's a little, uh, shout out there to Juvie. And then uh, we have one from Erev uh, Eugene says, "Shout out." Um, he just wants a shout out, so shout out to you. You know, just my my love goes out to you right now. Um, back to you, Water. All right. Well, if that's all we have for shoutouts, I think we will call it for tonight. Uh, remember, guys, uh, we have a new website on the way. Uh, we will. I'm trying my best to get uh, the COD one tournament coverage up. Uh, we it will be up. Hopefully, I'll get it up next week. Uh, we, I am looking for some guest casters to do that. I was never the best at uh, COD one casting, but uh, looks like we actually have some. Uh, main gear players in vent right now so uh let me drag them down for an interview uh starbuck take over all right all right looks like we have a slut and a deviator in here um all right there they are they're going to join us here for a little interview um and my first question hey what's up guys yo yo all right my first question uh deviator i believe you're the last person alive that last round correct yeah all right. What was what was going through your head? Um, it was a one on three. You were at the B site, and the bomb was at A. So, um, what was going through your head there when you saw that your last person up? Uh, it was twelve to nine. Uh, just tell us a little bit about what what you thought during that moment. I knew I had to play with their heads. As if you were looking at me, every time I'd uh, kill a guy, they were looking somewhere else. That's because I was doing some other shit, like chaos. Uh, cafe and then I'd flank the guy that was L turn and he'd look over at cafe and I was already behind him by the time he looked at me but uh to be honest I don't even know I didn't even know that it was a 1v3 until well I did know at the moment but I just I just had to stay focused and if and if I would have thought of it as a clutch situation I'm sure I would have choked but I just had to keep my confidence up exactly and that's you did, I mean, you played it uh, exceptionally well, so my congratulations go out to you. Um, I have a question for Slut. Um, you guys were up 5-1 to one beginning of the match. Uh, you guys were on defense, so uh, although defense is the easier side, it was a little unexpected by most folks that you guys were going to go up 5-1 to one against Nexus. Um, but then something happened. Um, you guys started losing round after round, and it was actually to a point where it was a 5-on-5. A five, uh, five. It was a... You know, you had five and they had five. So what exactly happened? How did you guys lose four in a row on defense? You know what? <clears throat> you know, Nexus is a good team. All those guys have been around a long time. They just, what they did was, they did what any good player, any good team would do. They adapted and uh, they, you know, basically realized what we were doing and they, you know, took charge 
and took control of the map, you know? So that's what happened. Exactly, exactly. Um, all right, and the next question, Deviator, it's going to go to you. Um, how did you guys um, prepare for this? I mean, I was watching Nexus, and, and Water actually asked me, um, because you guys were up 5-1, to one, and I, I know you guys are a good team, but Nexus is just, you know, they're, they're a very good team as well. So he mm -hmm. asked me if, um, if, uh, if Nexus wasn't, you know, just didn't prepare, or they hadn't, you know, they just didn't have their hearts in it, or what was going on. And I said, well, Nexus actually, it looked like, I mean, they, they were definitely stratting. You, you could see that in their gameplay, uh, how they were playing. What did you guys do to prepare for this match uh, leading up here? I mean, obviously, you have won countless matches in the playoffs. This isn't for the first round. I believe it's uh, the quarterfinals or semifinals. Yeah. So, uh, exactly. So, what did you guys actually do here to prepare for um, for Nexus and for Backlot? We actually, uh, we scrimmed. We fir well, first, we, we start off scrimming bad teams just to warm up. But uh, after that, we scrim, you know. Calam teams, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever teams we know that are good, we scrim, and uh, we just, like I said, confidence, gain confidence from there. Confidence is the key to anything. Exactly, and and scrimming good teams, you know, it's that's what you got to do. So um, I'm all done here, Water. If you've got any questions, uh, please shoot. Um, none for me. Uh, but you guys, uh, congrats tonight, 13-9 victory. You move on. Do you guys have any last-minute shout-outs before we cut this out? Yeah, if I can start it off, please, Dev. Um, go ahead. I would go. like to thank Main Gear. Main Gear. I would like to uh, have everyone, if you could, go register on MainGearGaming.com. Uh, we we give away prizes weekly. Um, and most importantly, I want to thank the team. Um, we had a last-minute curveball. Our, one of our starters, Vaughn, which everybody knows, he has a lot of fans out there. He's in the hospital. He's in ICU. So, uh, you know, he fainted or something happened to him at work. His uh, mom called me and told me he couldn't make it tonight. Um, so we had to, you know, play with the backup tonight. I just want to let Vaughn know, you know, when he watches this soon, hopefully, um, that, you know, all my prayers and team, uh, team uh, main gears prayers go out to him. And I just want to thank all our fans, and sorry we disappointed you a couple weeks ago with some matches, and hopefully we can come back and win Sebo. Thanks, everybody. Wow, dude. I should have gone first. Now I'm going to look bad. Shout out to uh, Taylor. We just played him. I love him. Marty. E-Rev, of course. You guys are cool. And uh, Tyler. Tyler, which is Vaughn. Love you, man. And everyone else on main gear, you guys are cool. Everyone's cool. And uh, remember to drink your protein shakes and lift weights so that you can be strong like me. <laughs> Sexy. All right. All right. If that's it, we will call it a night. Remember, guys, next Thursday we should be back with another Sevo A broadcast. And this Sunday, pro probably a Cal broadcast. And we will be going headlong into COD5, so look for that. And uh, we also are Cassia LAN, uh, the upcoming GXL LAN, so also look out for that. It's coming up, uh, I believe, either this weekend or next weekend, so this stay weekend. tuned to EREV TV. Well, this weekend, Limit corrected me. Yeah, and if the website's not up, uh, make sure to tune in to ProGamingTV.com for uh, cast times and uh, stream uh, URLs and stuff like that, or at D-REV on the Game Surge Network. Alrighty, well, um, I guess that's it then for us, Connor. Um, if you have any last minute no, things good, to good say. Night. We've taken this odd long enough. Good night, guys. <laughs> Alright, good night, guys.